This online session is all about taking a mindful approach to looking at art and objects, to invest some time in the slow art movement. It is so easy to dash around the galleries and not stop to take time to look, to breathe and to be curious. We're going to take a look at a Roman mirror. It's thought to date from the 3rd century AD, made from silver and approximately 12 inches or 30 centimetres in diameter. The mirror was discovered at the Roman site of Roxeter in Shropshire. During the excavations, it was found resting against the footings of a wall well below pavement level. But first of all, we're going to start by making sure we're sitting or standing comfortably. Place your feet evenly apart and flat on the floor. Acknowledge any areas of tension in your body, particularly in your neck, jaw or forehead and try to soften those areas. Let go of whatever happened before you started to look at this object. Let go of whatever will happen after these moments. This is an opportunity to manage any stress you may be feeling and focus now on this moment. Take a breath in and breathe out slowly. Repeat as you quiet your mind of intrusive thoughts. Acknowledge those thoughts if they keep popping up, but return to looking at the mirror. The mirror has a convex, highly polished front with a handle on the reverse. Glass mirrors had not been developed at this time. It was much later that mirrors, as we know them today, with silvered glass, were developed. Imagine a time when the only reflection of yourself was if you looked into still water or were wealthy enough to have a polished metal mirror made by a craftsman for you. It's hard to imagine in our world today, with its many ways of recording and looking at how we look at ourselves and others. Who looked into this mirror each day? The convex surface means that the mirror had to be held away from the face more than an arm's length. So who might have held the mirror for whom? Possibly a wealthy woman or man with servants to perform such tasks. The handle on the back shows signs of wear, possibly where it was hung on a wall. I wonder if the servant took a look at themselves before placing the mirror back in its place. How surprising would it have been to see your face reflected back at you for the first time? Let your eyes travel around the decorative floral border, stopping at each of the small flowers. There are tiny traces of gold building on the border. Now take a closer look at the handle in the centre. The workmanship is beautiful. It was probably made in Italy and travelled over to Roxeter with the Romans. The knot in the centre is called a Hercules knot after the Greek god. It was a symbol of love and marriage, the undying commitment which we still refer to today as tying the knot. Follow the wires round as they weave in and out of each other, finally resting on the four flowers. They look like small wild roses, another symbol of love perhaps. Think of objects you have been given, or you have given to other people that also symbolise love. Could it have been given to a military general to take with him as he travelled to Roxeter from Italy? Or did his wife and daughter bring it with them if they travelled with him? And why was it left at Roxeter? Why did the Romans leave such an expensive object behind them when they decamped to Chester? Was it acquired by the British Cornovians who then lived in the settlement? Who was the last person to look at their reflection in this mirror before it was buried? Now return your thoughts to yourself and take a breath in and breathe out slowly. Thank you for taking time 
to look at one of the objects in the Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery collection.